Hey guys, this is a tutorial on how to use musical typing with GarageBand. And this is actually a snippet, a tutorial snippet that I've taken from a more uh, full extensive course that I have on GarageBand. It's like a complete GarageBand tutorial. It's for free and available on YouTube as well. So if you're looking for a more extensive GarageBand tutorial course, like from start to finish, from, from start to finish, kind of everything you need to know um, for the super beginner. Then I recommend checking that out. I'll leave a couple. Uh, I'll leave a link to it in the description. Um, but if you just want this video, let's get into how to use musical typing with GarageBand. I want to do mention the other way to record using these sounds if you don't have a MIDI controller, and that's to use musical typing inside GarageBand. We can go to the top here and press window and then uh, show musical typing. And this just gives you an interface of what your actual keyboard looks like on your computer. And you can press these notes. Like if I press this J on my actual computer keyboard, it will be the piano note, um, which here is a B and then K is a C. So that's a C. So if I play A, D, G, that's a C major chord. And so I don't have to have any type of extra hardware at all. I can just use my own keyboard. So that's that, that can be a bit limiting because you're kind of using your keyboard. It's nice to actually have a layout of a MIDI controller where you can, it looks really like a piano. So um, th those are the limitations that come with musical typing. The same thing goes with musical typing. If you go back to, you know, we can, we can play a hard rock guitar here. And we can go back to drum kits, play a heavy drum kit. It's the exact same thing. These, this is just a controller to what sounds you've chosen in GarageBand.